Hello and welcome to this video. Today I am going to unbox the Sophie and Toffee Joy of Giving Pixie Box. Now we are first greeted as always with this really cute booklet which has all the items listed inside. And here's what we see once we open the sticker. Our first item is this Christmas themed nail file. Next up we are getting two star shaped bottles. And we also get these like tiny glitters that are in like Christmas themed stuff, so snowflakes, snowmen and so on and so forth. Those are really cute embeds. And our first mold is this bow mold in different sizes. This will come in real handy for decorating some designs later. And we also get this camera mold with this cute bear shape inside. And these three, I don't know if they're ornaments or something like that. And then we get this cute deer ornament hanger mold. And we also get Christmas themed bezels. Now the design of them is super cute. Uh, we have a Santa cat, a reindeer and a polar bear with Santa hat. And I think these would also make great ornaments for your Christmas decorations. We also get a large Santa uh, kind of mold. We also get this mold, which I don't have any idea what it could be. Maybe a jam jar or something like that. And we also get this huge star with a circle that's free in the middle, so it might be like a candle holder or something like that. And we also get these cute Christmas themed nail stickers, and these are super adorable with the Rudolphs and the snowman. And then we also get some sheets of shaker film. These will come in handy for future projects. And we get some more of Sophie and Toffee's Morandi pigment dye in light yellow and pale green. Which I'm not quite sure if those are like festive colors, but I really like the colors nonetheless. And we also get this mixed glitter with purple and green, and this is definitely screaming Christmas at me. And we also get these colored flowers that are luckily stored in this box, so they won't break or get damaged in transport. And then we have this Christmas themed charm, so a boot, a Christmas tree and a snowflake. And lastly we have some hooks and some like tiny chains. Now if you have a look into the list of items, you can see that there's many different varieties of the nail sander, but I think the design I got is super cute, so I'm really happy with that. Although I don't know how long the design will last if I'm actually using it. And we can also see examples of all the resin pieces, and I have to say they're Gnome looks kind of strange with the blue. Also the jam jar is apparently a house shaker mold, which I kind of can't see. And also those were not ornaments but soundless belts. And I was right with the star being a candle holder, which will definitely come in handy and I think it's a really cute idea. Now I wanted to start off with the gnome and I kind of didn't see a gnome in it, you know, it had those star decorations on top of his head. So I decided to make a Christmas wizard. Now I'm going to use some of my chalk pastels for the face, the beard, the thing he's carrying and his boots. And also, the week before I received this box, it was Sophie and Toffee's Black Friday sale and I needed some resin, so I ordered there and I was lucky enough to also get their chameleon powders, which they gave out in limited quantities as a present for buyers. So I am definitely going to use that because I think it will look really magical. And so his cape and his head will be one of the chameleon powders. Now 
I was fairly generous in mixing my resin so I had some left and I just put some pigment powder in the camera mold also of the chameleon powder variety and later on off camera I also made the reindeer ornament because I still had a lot of resin left. Now the camera must have had like an oil thing from like a fingerprint or something like that because the pigment like collected on one side a little bit but I still think this looks really cute and pretty and I want to leave it as it is and not make it into a shaker. At least for now, maybe I will decide differently later. And for the reindeer ornament I just put in some gold flakes and I think they look really pretty in this white resin. And this ornament oval is so cute with the reindeer inside. As for the gnome, or in my case wizard, I struggled a lot to get it out of the mold and I took my time and really tried to carefully wiggle him out as to not rip anything. And I think he turned out really cute, though I'm kind of disappointed in how little the color shifting or um, chameleon pigment powder came out. So I decided to try and paint it on. And I'm just mixing the pigment with some clear gloss varnish and then applying it with a brush. And this method really helps applying the pigment. And I think this looks better, but in the end I still wasn't quite happy with how it looked since I thought it was blotchy, so I gave it a matte black base coat with my miniature acrylics. And after that I'm just applying more of the same mixture of pigment and varnish. And I still have to clear this up, but I think it looks really cute. And here's the cleaned up version and I also painted his little bag that he's carrying and I think he really looks wizardy now. I'm super happy with how it turned out and how the chameleon powder looks with the blue to purple color shift. Now I think this box was a great variety of Christmas and kind of Christmas items. I think definitely the camera I wouldn't have put into a Christmas theme, but I suspect as like an ornament or as a present for a person, this would definitely be super cute. I love the bear cut out as a shaker idea, it's definitely an interesting idea and very great. Now this box really had some great decorations and I think you can do a lot with this with the stars and the gnome and I think also the gnome would make a great present but my favorite mold definitely was the reindeer ornament. I think you don't even have to make it a Christmas mold. I think you can maybe make it different colors and like hang it up all year. And in the end, I, I think they definitely hit the Christmas theme with this one. There's definitely a lot to do and you can be really creative. So definitely super happy with this pic. Now in the comments down below, please tell me if you like this box and what items would you have preferred in this box if you didn't quite like it or what was your favorite mold. Anyways, I hope you're having a great day. Bye!